Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna build a full stack chat application using React.js and Django. And good news, this is without a doubt the best looking chat app on YouTube for this tech stack. So let me show you how it looks. When you log in or sign up, the user is fetched from the database along with their chat histories. And this is real time chat, meaning any new messages appear immediately for other users. This app also has a whole lot more. It has image and file support, mobile and desktop support, read receipts, group chat and one-on-one -on -one chat support, the whole nine yards. So you're probably wondering, you know, how can we build such a high quality full stack chat app in under 10 minutes? It's because the initial setup is actually very easy and should only take one to two minutes in reality we're gonna use a third party chat API called chatengine.io to host our chat rooms, our message histories, and our WebSocket connections. On the back end, we'll write one API call in Django to give all our users access to this chat service. And on the front end, we'll install one of their pre-built UIs with NPM and route all the chat requests to Chat Engine through this UI. And we're done. This way, our chat is scalable and feature rich. We don't have to add any chat code into our Django project and we save tons of time. It's how modern developers work and how people can make such high quality apps in such a short amount of time. So with that in mind, let's get started and actually build this out. In this section, let's fully understand what we're going to build before we start coding. It should take one minute, so let's get into it. Here's our standard React.js Django app. We have a React front end and a Django back end, which needs a username and password to authenticate into. In step one, we'll download and add a third party chat microservice to our back end. This chat microservice is just a pre built server that handles all of our chat requests, WebSocket connections, data storage, etc. This way, we don't have to add any chat specific code to our Django project. In step two, we'll add some API calls to our Django backend. So when a user is created, we give that user access to our chat service too. This way, all users have access to use our new chat service. And in step three, we'll route any chat related requests to this new chat service. This way, our Django code stays clean and we can set up a robust full stack chat service very quickly. Now that we understand how this app will work, let's start coding it. Our first step is to set up a third party chat service, which our users can access. Go to chatengine.io, first linked in the description, sign up and create a new project. Once you set up a new project, Chat Engine gives you your own chat server, which your users can access and use. We'll need to copy the project ID so our API calls can identify this chat server. And we'll also need the private key so that we have permissions to create and destroy users. Now, let's give all of our Django users access to this new backend chat service with some API calls. To follow along, you can either clone this full stack chat project, link in the description, or use one of your own Django projects. The server Django project is a very simple code base. We just have two URLs, one for logging in and signing up, and both are very simple functions. We just take all the user data from the request and either create a user in the database or fetch that user from the database and return their JSON. Now, to connect our Django server with our chat service, we need to give users access to our chat service whenever they sign up. We can do this by creating a user copy on our chat server. As you can see in the API docs here, we can create a new user on our chat server with this API call and our private key. So when a user signs up to our website, we just need to make this API call here with the user's data in the request and our private key. Now this new user has access to our chat server. We can also see if a user has access with this API call here, which can work as a valid login function. Now that we've added these two API calls on sign up and on login, 
our users now have access to our chat infrastructure. To run this connected Django server, cd into server Django, set up a .env file with your project ID and your private key like this, and run Django on port 3001 with the following command. Be sure to set up a virtual environment and install requirements.txt2. Finally, let's, let's connect our components to our front end and route all the user's chat requests to this new chat service, and then we're done. This is the easy part. Now that our users have access to Chat Engine, we can use one of their NPM components, which are pre-built chat UIs. As you can see here, this NPM component is a pretty chat UI, and it natively connects to your Chat Engine chat server. To try this out, open the client react folder in the full stack chat project and go to chats page. Once a user is authenticated, we know Django gave them access to chat engine already. So if we use this component and we link the project ID, as well as that user's username and password, we're done. So to start this project, CD into client react, set up a .m file with the following value and then do npm install and npm run start. Once this completes, you know that we're good to go. So if we log in or sign up, you can see that we have all those chat histories there and we're good to go. And we can set up new chats with whoever we want. Perfect, that's it. If you have any questions, just feel free to leave a comment. I know that this video is fast, but hopefully that was clear enough and I'm happy to answer any questions as they pop up. Thank you.